Yo, what's up everyone? Davey here, aka Casanova, and welcome to this week's vlog video. And today, finally, I'm going to show you guys how to perform the L-Sit to handstand press. See you there. Okay, so what is the L-Sit and handstand press? How do you do it? What does it look like? The L-Sit to handstand press is an advanced move in calisthenics. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you do the L-Sit and handstand press? Is there a trick to it? Do you have to be strong? What's the secret? And today is the day that I'm going to show you guys how to perform the L-Sit and handstand press step by step. For many of you that know what an L-Sit and handstand press looks like, you guys have seen my previous videos. And for other people that don't know what an L-Sit to handstand press is, I'm going to show you what that is. And this is what it looks like. You have to be really consistent with it. Practice every single day. All right, for step one, what you want to do, you want to get an L-sit. Let's do an L-sit, it looks like this. So you can hold that for like 10 seconds, five seconds, maybe four seconds. And for the other variation, you can also learn after the L-sit, it's a swing back. And by swinging back, this is what it looks like. Once you get comfortable with that move, you can add your L-sit and that swing back move. And it looks like this. And if you can't do those two moves from the L-sit to swinging back, it's okay, it's very understandable. For beginners, you can also do tuck L-sit and the tuck L-sit looks like this. So you can hold that for like, 10 seconds, five seconds. And once you get comfortable with the tuck L-sit, you can practice your swing backs. It looks like this. Okay, now, once you get that move done, you completed it, you mastered it, now it's time for you to press up. Tuck L-sit, swing back, slowly. Press up. You come back down. L sit, back, slowly. Press up. Keep it there. Come back down. In order to learn the L-sit to handstand press or the tuck L-sit to handstand press, always learn your L-sits or tuck L-sits. Hold it for 15 seconds, the most five seconds if you can. Always remember to practice your swing backs. Okay, while you're practicing your swing backs, once you get comfortable with them, remember now you're ready to go all the way up. And once you go up, make sure your shoulders are aligned with your waist. And once your shoulders are aligned with your waist, now you're ready to press up. So once you get right there to that position, you press up slowly, slowly, slowly. And then once you get that balance, you have to find that balance, you'll get the hang of it. So if you want to increase more shoulder strength, there's good exercises to do. You can also do handstand push-ups against the wall or just regular push-ups or pike push-ups too. I will show you guys soon what they are. In the meantime, you can just practice your handstand push-up against the wall or just regular push-ups. And always remember, please be safe about this move. This move can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. If you feel uncomfortable, remember, always have a partner with you or somebody to spot you. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Time to wrap it up. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog video. And remember, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask me. And I'll see you guys next week. God bless. Peace out. One love.